Failure is something that we all have to deal with. It's just a part of life. But the nice thing is if we learn how to use failure to our advantage, well, we can master just about anything. In this episode, I'm inviting you to join me on an epic photo challenge that's spanning several weeks and two different countries in the heart of Patagonia. I'm going to be pulling back the curtain and showing you how I learn from my failures and I'm going to ask you to help me overcome those failures. That's right, I'm asking you to teach me over the next few episodes. It's gonna get really interactive. We've got a lot to unpack, so let's get started right now. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace, hanging out in Santi Santiago, Chile, enjoying a nice cortado, that's a coffee here. And I'm preparing to go down to Patagonia. I'll get to that in a little bit. But I just wanna ask you for permission to make a video that's a little bit different this time. Normally, when I'm making an Adorama TV video, and I've been doing this for about 10 years now, I just come on here and I show you one specific thing, one principle of photography. I give you a tip, some advice, and it looks just fine. But one of the things that you don't see are all the mistakes that I make along the way. And those mistakes, those failures are very important because that's how you learn things. Now, if you've been watching Adorama TV for a while, you'll see my say, myself or uh, David Bergman or Daniel Norton or Seth or Vanessa Joy or Gavin Hoey, whoever it is, we just sort of show up, show you how to do something that works perfectly every single time. But what you don't see is all the days, weeks, and months of preparation that it takes to make those videos, to learn how to do all of that stuff. And that is something that is very, very important for every photographer. Because every single successful photographer has one thing in common, and that is they know how to learn from their mistakes. And I have a principle called failing forward and if there's only one thing that you learned from me this year, I hope it's this. It's the concept of failing forward. So I wanna teach that to you in this video, and then I wanna ask you for some help. Some help that you can give me interactively over the next few weeks. So first, let's talk about what it means to fail forward. Failing forward is a process for learning new things. Let's begin by looking at three skill levels. We're competent at some things. We know what we're doing and we know why we're doing them. We've honed our skills so that we can repeat our success almost every time. We're incompetent at some things. We know a little bit about what we're doing, but most of the knowledge we need is unknown. We have some of the skills we need, but we need a lot of practice. Sometimes we succeed, but we don't necessarily know why, and it's difficult to repeat our success. We're capable of these tasks. We just need knowledge and practice to become competent and we fail at some things. We don't know what we're doing, we don't have the knowledge, experience, or skills to succeed in these things. The key to failing forward is to regularly work at the next level of incompetence. Zane is a young high school student who is beginning a new job at a fast food restaurant. One day, he hopes to become the manager. Zane is competent at a few things. He can mop the floor, take out the trash, and clean the dining room. Zane is incompetent at other things. He knows what a cash register is, but he just doesn't know how to operate one. And Zane would fail at more advanced things. He'd love to manage the store, but this is his first day on the job. He's got a lot to learn before he's the manager. After a few days at work, Zane's manager pairs him with a fellow employee so he can learn how to use the cash register. Zane is now working at his next level of incompetence. He makes a few mistakes, but he learns from them. After a week or two, he is now competent on the cash register. He's done a great job, and so his manager moves him to the kitchen to start making burritos. It's a skill he'll need before he can manage the store. Once again, Zane is working at his next level of incompetence. He's making a few mistakes, he's even failing once in a while, but he's failing forward. The key to improving our photography skills is to dive into those areas where we are incompetent. By working in these areas, we can master them and then move on to our next level of incompetence. 
and by repeating this process, we will eventually become an expert in our area of photography. All right, well, the concept of failing forward is pretty cool, but how do we actually put that into practice? Well, that's where the photo challenge comes into play. Now, if you're not familiar with the photo challenge, let me give you a brief history. I created a 60 minute photo challenge, I don't know, seven or eight years ago on Adorama TV. Then when Gavin Hoey joined us as a host, he started doing 15 minute photo challenges, which I later learned that he'd been doing that for years, way before I started doing my photo challenges. And Gavin and I have been doing these on and off for a long time. So we've done some photo challenges in his home studio in England. We did some stuff where we did a full day photo challenge with a prime lens, which is really, really one of my favorite things we've ever done. We did some pointless photo challenges. We even did a live photo challenge at Inspire in New York City on a stage in front of an audience where we did some things like trying to take a portrait using nothing but the LED lights on little cameras from our audience. And well, Gavin won that challenge hands down. Well, no matter what you're doing in a photo challenge, there are three things that we try to do. We have a set challenge. So for example, shoot uh, one full day with a prime lens and nothing else to see if it improves your photography. That's the challenge. Or uh, try to take a portrait using nothing but the lights from uh, the studio audience. That was what we did in New York City. Or uh, try to see if you can take a photo while running full tilt, something like that. So there's a specific challenge. Then there's specific gear. So you can only use a specific amount of gear. And so in uh, the Prime Lens Challenge, it was our camera and one lens, nothing else. In New York City, it was just the stuff that we could get from the audience. And so there's that kind of a limitation. And then the third thing with any photo challenge is a specific set amount of time. So it could be one hour, 15 minutes or a day, whatever that is. So specific challenge, specific gear, specific amount of time. And so what I wanna do and the help that I need from you is I'm gonna try to do some things in Patagonia that I don't know how to do. Specifically, I wanna do some astrophotography, taking pictures of the Milky Way, doing some wildlife photography, some light painting, and then maybe some stuff like uh, shooting some video using some advanced techniques like S-Log shooting, doing some drone videos with some uh, uh, autopilot stuff, things that I'm just not familiar with, but I know a lot of you are. And so here's how this is going to work. Follow me on Instagram, also follow Adorama TV. I'm gonna be posting the things that I need help from you. And then what I want you to do is to give me advice, either in the comments in this video below or sending me uh, direct messages on Instagram or in the comments on the stories that I post and I'll be asking you for help on specific topics. The first one is astrophotography. How can I shoot the Milky Way at night? What tips and pointers do you have for me? And the way you can do this is post your best photo of the Milky Way that you shot at night. Tag me, J. Mark Wallace, and Adorama TV in that photo. And then give me your tips. Use uh, this lens or this shutter speed, shoot at this time of day or whatever that you have. Post that to me and then I will take those tips, put them together, and I'll make a video trying the things that you have taught me. We're gonna do this for all of the different videos, so wildlife photography and uh, nature photography, etc. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and look at the comments in this video below to see where the next challenge is coming for you and for me. And then what I want you to do is, as a community, I want us all to do these photo challenges together. So when we do the astrophotography stuff, I want you to go to your backyard or outside of your city or whatever, and then make a photo and post it. And let's do it and see how we do, how well we do as a community, and let's grow together. That's the challenge for us. So we're gonna fail forward. I'm gonna show you all the failures that I make, and then we're gonna grow as a community, posting our successes, and I think it's gonna be a wonderful time. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this video. I know it was a little bit different than our normal video, but I really wanna do this. I wanna see how we can learn together. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can stay in the loop and see exactly what's happening because this is all gonna happen real time. Make sure you follow Adorama TV on Instagram and subscribe here to the Adorama TV channel. Make sure you click on the bell so you get notifications. And then I will see you in our next video and the first photo challenge from Patagonia.